This is the Radio Oddity GD168, a dual band handheld radio which supports FM and DMR Tier 1 and Tier 2. The box contains a well written user's manual covering all of those important features and functions. Two antennas are provided, one which is longer than the other, which provides a high gain, improving range. For a more discreet look, a shorter antenna is also supplied in the box. A belt clip is included which can be attached to the rear of the radio using the included fixtures. Now, this part is optional whether you install it or not. The USB to USB-C cable is provided which can be used to charge the batteries or program the GD168 from an appropriate software package. Two batteries are supplied as standard. One is a slimline 1800 milliamp hour battery and the other is a slightly thicker but high capacity battery with a 2600 milliamp hour capacity, which of course helps with longer lasting runtime. Now also included in the box, we find a desktop charging cradle, meaning you can charge the batteries either directly within the radio using this supplied USB-C cable or by using the included desktop charger. Now a USB mains adapter will be supplied in the box, which will be used to power the desktop charger or directly charge the battery in the radio. Now down the right side of the radio, we have a standard two pin speaker microphone socket. And below this, there is a USB-C socket, which as mentioned before, can be used for programming and charging the internal battery. Only a standard USB-C cable is required to connect this radio to your computer. No special cable is actually needed. Down the left side of the radio, we have the PTT button, along with two user programmable buttons for quick access to certain predefined features. On the top, we have the antenna socket, a continuous VFO memory rotary control, and of course the on and off stroke volume control. There's also an LED indicator, which shows whether it's receiving or transmitting. Now the GD168 screen is incredibly clean and easy to read. Two active VFOs are available and shown on the screen at the same time. This means you could use DMR on VFO A and then analog on VFO B. Now the GD168 does not currently have built-in Bluetooth or GPS, meaning the GD168 price is extremely competitive, yet still providing a quality handheld radio. One of the most useful features in a handheld of this form factor is the satellite prediction feature. Storing a fixed location into one of the available slots means the satellite prediction software will be able to control the radio's frequency in real time as that selected satellite passes overhead. This feature allows easy access to one of ham radio's fascinating offerings to be able to work through low earth orbiting satellites with other users around the world. Our specifications for the GD168 provide 5 watts of RF power on both VHF and UHF with 4 levels of output power selectable. DMR Tier 1 and Tier 2 is supported. That's perfect for use with ham radio repeaters with two time slots. 500,000 digital contact storage memory is available on board, which provides enough space for the entire current DMR database of IDs. 10,000 talk group storage is also available. Now, APRS digital and analog transmission is also possible, of course, using one of the predefined fixed locations. AES-256 and ARC-4 encryption is available for those that would like to use this radio outside of the ham radio bands. Roaming and talker alias is supported as default, with talker alias sending your call sign without the need for a database to be installed. Auto sense in between an analog and digital signal for receiver is welcomed so that you can monitor just one frequency for both modes. Mic Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey testing and Zero DQW test. Mic Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey testing and Zero DQW test. For further information or to purchase the Radio Oddity GD168, then please visit the Radio Oddity website.